Woo, where to begin this week? Well, in case you missed it, I was off the grid for an entire month from August 4th to September 5th, and I have the facial hair to prove it. As you can see, my beard actually even has a Twitter account already, which somehow is a real thing on the internet. Over the past 30 days, I've had no phone, no email, no Twitter, and no digital noise in my life whatsoever. I also didn't watch any news or have one single conversation about politics the entire time I was gone, believe it or not. What I did do during this time was a combination of writing my book, relaxing, doing some gardening, taking long walks with my dog, and spending time with friends and family. As I said in our live stream yesterday, I am beyond incredibly grateful and humbled by those of you who support The Rubin Report on Patreon and on PayPal for letting me and my crew carve out this precious bit of time to rest, rejuvenate, and come back more focused than ever before. I also learned a couple life lessons this past month, including that writing a book is far more intense and introspective than you can possibly imagine, so just give me a little more time on that one. Unsurprisingly, the news cycle kept on spinning without me, and I'm just now catching up on everything that I missed, from the terror attack in Barcelona, to the events in Charlottesville, to the devastation of Hurricane Harvey, and now Trump's reversal of DACA. There's no shortage of news for me to get caught up with. For this direct message, though, I want to look forwards and not backwards, and instead share some thoughts on the future of what we're going to be doing around here. I consider today to be the first episode of season three of The Rubin Report. Our first season of The Rubin Report as an interview show began two years ago when we launched on Aura TV with my interview with Sam Harris. Over the next year, the show began to blow up as we focused more and more on free speech and the battle for logic and reason to be put back into public discourse. About a year ago, we left Aura and went fully independent so we could 100% control the content we were creating as well as the business behind it. I consider this phase of our show to be season two. I don't know if any show out there has a more diverse guest list over the past two years, and I intend on expanding on that, going deeper on the important issues that we're talking about and more. Your support allows me to do what I think is right instead of focusing on what content will make a dime. Whether YouTube demonetizes us or the algorithms work against us because of dangerous or controversial topics that we cover, the Rubin Report will continue to cover the issues that really matter, having the detailed, nuanced conversations you'll never get on mainstream news. With this in mind, I'm thrilled to be launching season three of the Rubin Report with one of the few people I find that consistently makes some sense of the endless noise that we're constantly bombarded with. Phil DeFranco, host of the aptly titled Phil DeFranco Show, is one of the guys I turn to to get unbiased, sourced, and credible analysis of current events. As one of the first big YouTubers around, he's had an interesting personal and political evolution himself, something he's done in front of the camera for years now. Our friends at Learn Liberty are partnering with us for this episode, and Phil has requested that his honorarium for this show be given to the Polycystic Disease Foundation, a cause which is very personal to him. After the show, Learn Liberty will be writing a check of $1,500 to the foundation, and you can find out more about this cause at pkdcure.org. All right. I'm back, I'm bearded, and I'm ready to talk about the important issues of the day. If there's a specific issue you want us to cover or a special person you want us to talk to this season, let us know in the comments right down below. Since I've been off the internet for a while, I assume that all YouTube comments are positive and friendly now, so I look forward to seeing what you come up with.